Hey everybody, we will be continuing our series on DNA enveloped viruses with this video and we'll be focusing on the hepatinavirus and the pox virus. So here's our memory aid uh, to help us remember the DNA viruses. And um, just a, a note down here to be careful when you come to the P's, notice there's three different P's and uh, picornavirus and paramyxovirus are RNA but they start with a P, so you have to be careful about that. But Picorna has RNA in it, and so that kind of helps us in that way. And then also Hepatina virus has DNA in it, and that kind of helps us also. Okay, so we did the previous video on the herpes virus. If you didn't get to see that, make sure you check that out. And uh, we're going to move on to the Hepatina virus now. So Hepatitis B virus is a hepatinavirus and occasionally you'll get a style of question where they'll just basically want you to know that fact that hepatitis b virus falls within the hepatinavirus family and all dna viruses contain linear dna except for the hepatinavirus and the popova virus and um, so with hepatinavirus there's not too much you need to remember. You'll notice I only have one slide on it. So hepatinavirus is not going to be too bad. And then hepatinavirus and HBV, hepatitis B virus, are DNA viruses that have a DNA polymerase with reverse transcriptase activity. So that is unique. So here are three unique things about the hepatinavirus. So hepatitis B virus, uh, it all DNA viruses contain linear DNA except for hepatinavirus, which is double-stranded. And then they have uh, DNA polymerase with reverse transcriptase activity. And then next up is the pox virus. So the pox virus is the largest and most complex animal virus. It is brick-shaped. So the pox virus, if you look at it through a microscope, is going to look brick-shaped or slightly round, like a rounded brick. And it has an envelope, and it's linear, double-stranded DNA. So to remember that, we're going to think pox in a brick box. And the box is for the envelope, but also to help us remember that it's brick-shaped, because that's a, a quality of the pox virus that occasionally you see uh, questioned or tested on. And then here's another exception, and remember you always have to know the exceptions, because these are the things that come up most frequently. The pox virus replicates in the cytoplasm. So to remember that, we're going to think, we're going to play along with that, with this fact that it's the largest and that it's a very big virus. So think that it's too big to get into the nucleus. So it has to stay out in the cytoplasm. So there's three different viruses that we're going to talk about here within the pox virus. Smallpox. Molluscum contagiosum virus and the vaccina virus. So the molluscum contagiosum virus is going to cause umbilicated wart-like skin lesions. And then the vaccina virus is the strain of pox virus that was used to develop the vaccine for smallpox and for the pox virus. Okay, smallpox. Uh, protection against smallpox is given by prior injection with cowpox, and this represents something called antigenic cross-reactivity. And then smallpox has been eradicated by global use of the vaccine, which contains live attenuated vaccina virus. And again, we're going to touch on this idea that the vaccine was created through the vaccina virus, which is part of the pox virus group. And that's it. Short and sweet for today, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure that you like the video, leave your comments down below, uh, subscribe to the channel, and then also make sure you go check out my Facebook page and leave a like there for me. And uh, good luck studying, everybody. Thanks for watching.